let's go for football but Got it. its film program was actually higher than usc on the rankings that year so it was actually better than USC. and what school was this chapman chapman i thought chapman's only film school it's known f to be a film school, a law school. Um, it's Isn't a private Chapman school. even based uh, the name based based on the the gear, the, the equipment? Chapman? No, no, no. It's that just that's so just one and another. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you just. Uh, I'm not actually sure. Maybe the guy wanted to shatter my. You shattered my world right now. Maybe I, it I is. thought I don't the know. Dolly I never looked company into it. had to do something with the the Chapman University. I thought that was no. Did they have a lot of Chapman dollies on? I mean, they had a lot of equipment there. I mean, it was the, the school itself is, uh, you know. Was it all prime. Chapman and Leonard? Sorry? Was it all Chapman and Leonard? Um, oh, like they the had some stuff there. No, yeah. they had Fisher no? dollies. Yeah, I remember Fisher. Oh, remember, well, yeah. that doesn't sound right. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's kind of. Yeah. So uh, you decided to go to Chapman. Did yeah. you finish? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, I, I, I stayed there for about three years. I played football, and uh, I got into the film school there. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it was the that was that was like, you know, the first time I actually did like professional productions because they gave you everything and it's a private school. So they had a little bit more resources than USC, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, everyone got a chance to make their film, even the guy who was learning something that had nothing to do with being on camera. Like they had to direct their own short film at one point. Did you write, everything. produce, direct, star in your or I mainly what was, um, it, what was your film, a student film? I did. Uh, I actually did the most student films at that at, at the time um when i first got in i always wanted to direct right i love the creative side um but what they advised me because of the path i was already on with my grades and everything to get me into the film school they opened a new program called creative producing where you would learn how to be a producer but you also keep the creative side of things like some of the electives are you have to write you take a writing class you have to take a law class you have to do the business class um there's so a lot of these uh, so-called well i don't know so like there's a lot of creative producers now yeah a lot yeah. of people that put together music videos you know they get a producer that you know, is heavily involved with the artists and everything i've been seeing that around it's something me coming from the television world you know producers producer line yeah. producer line producer ad's ad director you know it's very union then you very structured but then I, I just recently finished a couple of music videos and i was like oh uh, creative producer i get it like yeah it totally makes sense stays on the creative side of the the whole thing as well so yeah um yeah it, it was uh it's it's a definitely a great it was a great uh learning experience for me because even though i wanted to be a director i was like you know i i, I can learn how to do everything in production and that's actually more valuable um than just relying on just being a director like if i can learn how to put the production together um and oversee every department and also have be able to keep my creative side to think outside the box on certain things. Um, that goes a long way. Uh, when I was out at Chapman, um, you know, I had to take a couple of years of the electives and we had to do like a small, like low budget, like very, very low, like three minute short films, but still use the camera, like the professional equipment, learn how to use all that stuff to make our, thor you know, like little short films. And then once we got into like our senior year, that's when we did the thesis films, which are 25 minute short films. Um, I actually ended up, you're supposed to do two, one in the fall, one in the spring. I ended up doing seven <laughs> because there wasn't enough, um, Overachiever. it was kind of cool. No, well, it was like, it was like, uh, the way they kind of paired it too. It was just like, there was the directing majors, like all the directors mm -hmm. and they would have to find their producer and they set it up like speed dating. So I would have to sit across from you, like how I am with you right now. And you would have to tell me, uh, you know, like speed dating, they would set a timer and you would have to pitch me your idea. And then I would have to tell you if I want to do it or not, you know, and as a producer or as, as a, a producer. Oh, OK. And then you would have to choose me too. like you would have to tell, you know, get my ideas that, like as a producer. What am I going to do for that kind of idea? Like, um, you know, somebody was like, oh, I want to do this monster in the woods idea. And I'm like, oh, OK, cool. We could shoot out here. We could do that. Like I can I can get this and like we can actually make your idea happen mm -hmm. with the little budget that Chapman's going to give us. You know, and this is how we're going to was do an it. average budget that they were giving the students. They would give you like five thousand dollars, but they would also give you equipment. And everything too like so you would have a lot provided like insurance equipment that's pretty big yeah and then they would give you like five thousand dollars uh additional in case you know and that would go towards craft services um that would go to you know nobody lunch, got paid rest, nobody got paid everyone's doing it to learn you would have to f try to um, cast your actors either from the acting program at chapman or you would have to do like you know uh, do you know uh, breakdown calls and stuff like that and just tell people it's a student film so Amazing. yeah you do have to actors would have to do it just for their reel 
when did uh, uh, but you did have the option they did teach you how to uh finance too so like they would tell you is there like a would, so there is a business portion of chapman that yeah you know as the producers teaches the, yeah teaches the business show business side of the okay. yeah what does that look like is it like a business class or is it focused on the film business like for film financing um well there's there's certain things where like there's certain classes that they focus on that like different classes would help you out with your thesis um uh one class would pretty much just tell you all about it you know like a producer would just like a producer professor would just help us like look at the problems ahead of time and try to teach us like how to handle these problems and also just go through it um but they also encouraged us in the producing major to actually like while we're making these short films they are high quality shorts because we're using the best equipment and you know even even though the director is probably a little green we could still try to submit this to festivals or try to create a business plan. Like maybe this could be a proof of concept, you know, in the mm -hmm. future, like don't just look at it as a grade. Um, and so like one of the short films I did, we won the BAFTA award for short, best short. And uh, I mean, it didn't turn into a feature or anything, but that's just to give you an example. It's of real like, big. Yeah. 